My name is Dewey Jones, I am a Colorado off-roader and I film trail guides that show off Colorado but also show you the trail. Now today we got renegades and Cherokees and we don't take any bypasses on Slaughterhouse Gulch, so stay tuned. Thanks for joining us on the trail. This one is definitely jam-packed, so jam-packed that I've included timestamps to help you navigate it. Now, if you are new to my guides, they are designed to show you the entire trail from start to finish with an emphasis on the scenery and unique off-road action. Well, we are now approaching our first optional obstacle, so I'll come back later with more trail info. So that was just a taste of what the trail is really like. Now to get to that stuff, we have to continue down this long dirt road to reach a fork in the road. At that fork, we will go right to start the slaughterhouse loop. We will climb two switchbacks to gain altitude. Then after passing an open area, we'll drop down a relatively steep decline to where all the fun stuff is. On that descent, I'll introduce you to the awesome crew I'm with, and if you want to see more of any of these vehicles, let them know down in the comments. Now I think we can all agree the camera blunts the terrain's steepness and true challenge, so I hope you'll take my word for it that the descent is relatively steep, or at least it felt like it when I was running around to get those shots. Anyway, let's talk about the trail's difficulty. So recently someone asked about Slaughterhouse's difficulty on a local off-road page and the answers were just all over the place. So we'll stick with the experts here both Fun Treks and Trails Off-Road, which gave it a difficult rating due to the optional obstacles. We will do them all, and I'll add my thoughts at the end, but ultimately, you will decide.
Although Slaughterhouse is not the most scenic trail by Colorado standards, it's still prettier than this video shows. However, my next trail guide should do a great job of showing off Colorado as it has river crossings and mountain peaks. Also, the really beautiful Colorado trails are about to open, so if you're interested in seeing any of those, hit that subscribe button and bell notification as I don't have a set upload schedule quite yet. Let's talk about the Renegade. I love it. First off, it's a small, capable off-roader that would make Colorado's sketchier trails like Saxon Mountain look like a walk in the park. Second, it allows Jeep to build vehicles like my Wrangler without having to buy fuel credits from Tesla. And the final reason I like them is because I used to watch car shows like Top Gear and on one episode they took the Fiat Panda and it held its own against the Range Rover. Those are my thoughts, but what do you think? excited to put my day out in the lab. Mm -hmm. Man, those sand dunes are freaking fun in these jeeps. They do really good. I believe that. Oh, okay. Everything out. Oh, there you go. I'm bad about rolling with my windows down even on
definitely impressive though. Like I, this thing has done everything so far. Don't let off for now. There we go. That's terrifying, I love it. And his tires might not be as bald as yours too. Or I mean not bald, but yeah. Did you push it? What? Did you push it? No, not at all. <laughs> there you go, there you I've done almost every obstacle I've ever seen him do on the trails with him. Same line, mostly the same lines too. Okay, so I watched a bunch of YouTube videos on this trail and a whole bunch of people bypassed this obstacle. So I think we should give those renegade drivers some credit for pushing their machines. Plus, they made that tree look quite easy.
As you may know, Colorado produces a lot of beer, so I've added a brief beer tasting to my reviews. Always drink responsibly and know we just taste the beer for an authentic trail beer experience. This means we only drink a full beer or two if we are camping and not driving. Basically, Slaughterhouse is a fun trail close to Denver. It is perfect for testing your vehicle or your modifications as the most challenging obstacles have bypasses. Now due to the weather, my scenery rating is low, plus it competes with extremely scenic trails like my next trail guide. Speaking of that, I hope you'll check that one out once I publish it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Now, if you want to see some more of Sean's Cherokee, hit that video. If you want to see some more of Zach's Cherokee, hit that video. And if you want to see more trail guides like this, hit that subscribe button right there.